Salt. The very latest study on sodium consumption around the world was published in the British Medical Journal by 10 authors of the WHO Global Burden of Disease Group and almost 150 collaborators around the world. This huge study was funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and was the most comprehensive analysis of sodium consumption around the world and included virtually every country in the UN system. When those levels of sodium consumption around the world are compared with the latest World Health Organization figures on life expectancies published in 2012, it is crystal clear that those countries that consume the most sodium or salt have the longest life expectancies and those that consume the least salt have the lowest life expectancies. Now let's have a look at those figures. While we may think that life expectancy is a bit of a fuzzy figure, one thing is for certain. It's one of the most important figures we use. All the insurance companies, all the pension providers, and our Social Security Administration all base their projections on the life expectancy figures, and that's one heck of a lot of megabucks riding on this all-inclusive figure. So maybe we should take it a bit more seriously. The WHO, or World Health Organization data, and the WHO life expectancy figures show that those countries in the groups that correspond to the current government recommended levels consume salt at an average of about 2.05 grams sodium per day. Most of the rest of the world consume salt well above the government recommended levels, and the average consumption of sodium in that group is 3.6 grams per day. Now don't forget that the government recommends that everybody should consume between 1.5 and 2.3 grams sodium per day or even less. Now let's look at this carefully. The low sodium group consumes the government recommendations and has an average life expectancy of 60.5 years. The rest of the world consumes far higher than the current recommendations and has a life expectancy of 71.8 years. That's more than 11 years of longer life expectancy than the low sodium group. 11 years. These 11 years are supposed to be the golden years of retirement. Yet, in the group that consumes salt at the government recommended levels, they are gone. That's it. Just like that, they're gone. Where did those years go? Better ask the FDA. You have two groups. One that consumes the government recommendations and has a life expectancy of 11 years less than the rest of the world which consumes salt at our current levels. Think about it. Which group would you rather be in? Salt! Salt!